Right, okay, this is the angel hug for Wednesday, the 9th of January. And hmm, just feel like I want to give a message. And I'm going to do a lucky dip today. So, yay, they're back. Right, giving and receiving. Right, that's great because that kind of came up yesterday. This idea of, of having this flow of um, energy going uh, both ways. So, equal relationships really really important today and um, the card says the entire universe operates in cycles similar to your inhalations and exhalations when you only exhale in other words give or only inhale in other words receive you become out of rhythm with the universe for optimal health energy and replenishment balance each inhalation in your life with an exhalation so I'm really not going to say too much else about that. It's just reminding us all that if there are areas in our lives where we feel that we're doing all the giving, it's time for us to stop it. Just stop it. Stop it. Um, <laughs> look at them and acknowledge that. This is going to be a great way to begin this year. It's, it's very much a year of healing those wounds. The wounded healer. The wounded healer needs to stop being so wounded because... It's time to start giving from a place of love. It's time to step into uh, abundant joy, is what I'm hearing, and to allow that to be the infectious thing, rather than um, being in an enabling, listening. I mean, there's a place, a time and a place for everything, and some very deep feeling goes on in that place where we can go into the pain and release it. And, you know, that is a big part of my work as well. This really applies to what we do in our friendships, what we do in connections that we have outside of our work. Healers, it's time to put boundaries in place and to say, this is um, a situation where I am uh, setting up a divine space to do some healing work. And this is a situation where I am in a social situation with friends and we're going to have some fun and we're going to spread that fun and joy and light and laughter and obviously there are different cycles and different phases in friendships and different things happen they're not all about you know happy jolly times you support each other and all sorts of other things happen but you know in your heart right now as you're listening here whether or not there is an equal balance in your life of giving and receiving and if there isn't, then it's time for you to look at receiving. Maybe for some people it will be time to give more. I'm kind of assuming everyone listening is a healer or an empath or a, a Virgo. <laughs> no, I'm joking. So that's basically it. So just really, really look at addressing the imbalance and redressing the balance somehow today and resolve if you do nothing else this month in terms of setting goals or whatever, all of that stuff. Go into your heart and ask, how can I shift this pattern? How can I make this pattern um, into something else? And what is the effect that that will have on the people around me? Is it just possible that by giving more to myself, by being happier generally, I will actually give more? We know that. It's all a cliche. But feeling it in the heart is much more important than just knowing it and parroting it. Really, really feel passionately about that, that we need to look beyond words and start feeling them and knowing these things and evolving them through our being. Okay, right, so the lucky dip person is Spirit Firewalker. And I'm just going to pick a card for you, my lovely, from one of these. Which one am I going to? Archangel Michael. Right, okay, interesting. Okay, I feel like I've got to stop there. Prayer will help this situation. So, I, with these lucky dip things, I've decided I'm not going to go into big psychic interpretations. I'm not going to look that deeply because it could get quite personal. So, I'm just going to pick a card and read it. So, the card says, Dear God and Archangel Michael, and anyone else to whom you pray, it says in, in brackets, such as Jesus, I ask you for divine intervention. Then you describe the situation. I welcome your help. And I trust and follow your guidance with gratitude and grace. I need a miracle, and I ask that you send one to me and this situation quickly. Thank you and amen. I love that. And you know, what I love about these cards is that a lot of us don't actually know how to pray. 
And these cards are actually really, really clear about the prayers that would be helpful. So I hope that you find that useful, Spirit Firewalker, and anyone else who wants to do that is welcome to do it. You can freeze the video and keep going back and, and write it down um, if you haven't already got the card. And I would suggest you do that, you know, until you feel it's really done, but don't do it in an attached way. It's not like, you know, a manifestation where you, you send it out there and then you allow it and you release it. I feel that it's really about getting into a practice of doing this with anything that troubles you. So it's, you know, you can pray about the situation that you were asking about, and then you can pray about something else the following night. Pray about the small things is what I've been, I've been told to say to you. Pray about the small things within the situation as well. So you know what I mean by that. You'll know how to break it down for yourself. So the first night maybe you can pray for the overall situation and then you can pray for things within that situation. So let's just say, for example, just to make it into a really kind of materialist, blunt um, example that anyone can relate to that doesn't go per into anything personal. Say you, you needed to be able to get around and say you decided that you wanted to get a car. You might pray on the first night um, for the finances to be able to buy a car. And then on the second night, you might pray that you find the right person to buy the car from so that you get a good deal because you know you're not that great at knowing what to look for third night you might pray for someone to help you <laughs> with choosing the right car you might pray on the fourth night for synchronicities that will lead you to the right car you might pray on the fifth night for the wisdom to know and to feel and in intuit when you're guided to actually uh, decide which one to go with. I hope that makes sense to you. So that's really what I'm being told to say to you about that card. And for anyone else who is um, thinking, oh, that's an interesting prayer, then I would recommend that you give it a try because it's a really, really clear prayer. And the main thing that I would say about it is that you go into your heart first. Do any of the techniques that you know that will bring you bring your energy really, really strongly into your body and into your heart. And also, of course, make sure that you're praying for something that's for the highest good of all, something that's from a completely unselfish, um, unconditionally loving place. So if you're praying for something for yourself, that's great, as long as it doesn't involve another person or interfere with their free will at all. Okay, uh, otherwise, no, I'm not going to go into that here. No, I was going to go into a whole other thing about free will and how prayers get answered. Um, I'm just going to leave it there for now. Have a great Wednesday, everyone, and Spirit Fireworker, and please post your comments below and share this video if you think it would help someone else, and I'll be back tomorrow. Mm -hmm.